It's Jay with Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of hip hop. Rapper Key Glock had this to say on social media, quote via X, social media destroyed our generation. Me being somebody who was fortunate enough to be born before social media and the internet and saw it change. And I, I have to agree with Key Glock. And here's a couple of reasons why. And if you're a millennial like me, there's a good chance that you've seen, or even a little bit older, there's a good chance that you've seen how social media took off and how you saw people react from it. Couple of things. Number one, people altering their bodies. When I was growing up, or back in the day, should we say, in the 2000s, the only people who were really getting their bodies done was maybe people in LA. You know, they were known for that. Some people in Miami may be known for that. And I remember when they started coming out with butt injections and lip injections and you just slowly started seeing people change. And now it's to the point to where everybody's getting their bodies altered. Everybody's looking crazy. A lot of people look like these action figures. Their bodies don't move, faces don't move. And then these people are looking crazy because they're going overseas to a lot of these countries and getting, it, getting cheap work done. I know several people that look terrible after getting their bodies done self-snitching we do a lot of self-snitching online and we actually make it easier for people to get for us to get caught think about it right back in the day something might have happened it might have been urban legend wasn't no cameras wasn't no audio now we got these dumb ninjas that'll go on camera on camera and you know take people hostage so guns weapons knowing you on on the run on parole and then when the feds kick in your door, you act like you surprised. District Attorney down here, Fannie Willis, said that social media has really helped get a lot of people locked up. People are lazy now. Social media has made a lot of people lazy, especially with Generation Z, because they grew up with these smartphones in their hands the entire time. They Social media makes you feel like you made it before you made it. You go online, you see people with a Bentley, you see people with a Rolls Royce, you don't know it's rented. It's a lot. And... And it can really mess your mind up. This is one thing that I have to tell my kids that the stuff that you see on social media is an illusion. Even you see people with these private jets, you'll see them sit on the jet and they'll get on there, take a picture and then get off the jet. They're not even flying it or somebody be photoshopped on the plane. You remember when Bow Wow got caught slipping? When Bow Wow was talking about he finna get on a private jet to go to New York and then somebody immediately snapped a picture of him and put it online and he even admitted I was lying and I got caught but this is what one of the things with social media and the last thing and again these are just I could go on and on but the last thing is people are more depressed you get online what you see online on social media everybody's having this fake image that you know everybody's happy they're in these perfect marriages you see people they be together and all they do is have all these happy pictures together the next thing you know they divorce they no longer talking this is what you see you know this is why a lot of times a lot of people even some of the highest influences on social media ended up unfortunately taking their own lives because they're not happy. Social media makes you more depressed because you get to scroll on your timeline and all you see is everybody claiming that they're happy. But no, these people are really going through real lives. Social media is make believe. It's make believe. That's not how really reality works, even though the scary part is the younger generation is starting to see that and feel like that's their reality. But man, social media is terrible. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of great things that came with it as far as information and and being able to connect with each other. But that also came at a price. And even studies have shown that people now are more depressed way more than they were back then. And I'm talking about back with segregation, with higher poverty rates and so on and so forth the lack of better education all of that and one more thing also social media has made people not social no more instead of going out go, go find somebody to you meet a nice lady you want to take her on a date and get her a drink now you do it online people are complete are socially awkward when we was growing up you want to play the games with your with your friends you had to go to their house there was no internet to connect people all around the world you had to go to go to somebody's house and play the game if you wanted to meet people you had to go outside we have a crop of people now that they don't even want to go outside and communicate grown adults grown men and women you start talking to them hey how's your day oh uh, 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 or they'll text you back to back to back to back with all these different comments but then when you call them and be like hey what's up they don't know how to communicate they don't know we don't know how to talk face to face and it's only going to get worse and worse and really honestly i'm scared for the generation behind generation z i'm scared for them but again these are just some of the quick things i could talk about i just want to get my quick thoughts about what key glock said tell me what y'all think